Welcome to the video tutorial for changing the motor on your Trim Pro Original or Trim Pro Rotor. So, the unfortunate has happened, and scissors have been dropped in your machine, thus damaging your motor. Don't feel too bad about it, you're definitely not the first. Since the grade is easily changeable, we will not cover that part in this video. For the removal of the blade, see our blade adjustment video tutorial. You can also get a written version of these instructions with pictures from our website. Remember, safety comes first. Always unplug your machine from its power source before doing any maintenance or making any adjustments. We will start with the blade already removed. We will be using a Trim Pro Original here, as it is the same for the rotor, but there is one more step on the original. Unscrew the four nuts, then the four bolts on the side of the motor's hub. This does not apply to the rotor. Remove the black glue from the balancing bolts on the top of the motor's hub. Cut the tie wraps and remove the protective tubing from the wires. Cut both wires leading to the motor. Try not to cut them at the same distance from the motor on each wire to make further steps easier. Hold the motor under the hub and remove the two lock nuts holding the motor's rods, then remove the motor. Preferably do not play with the balancing bolts so your replacement motor can be installed in the same position without needing tilt readjustment. Insert the new motor in the motor's hub in the same position as the old one while feeding the wires through the ventilation slots. Secure the motor in place with the two lock nuts. With the motor in place, weld the new motor's wires to the unit's original wiring using solder with a torch or a soldering gun. This equipment can be purchased at your local hardware store. Protect the new connections with the shrink tube provided with the replacement motor. Electrical tape may also be used in its place. Test the motor before moving on to the next steps. Remember, there is a limit switch above the electric box on the original that needs to be pressed down or electricity will not be fed to the motor. There is no such switch on a rotor. Once you have confirmed the motor is working, put the protective tubing back on the wires and secure it in place with the tie wraps included with your replacement motor. You can now put your blade back onto the unit. For more information about this step, see our blade adjustment tutorial video. Now that the blade is back on, it's time to verify the balancing of the motor. If you had not played with the balancing bolts when removing the old motor, your unit should still be well balanced. To balance our units, we use a vernier caliper as these tools verify lengths at a thousandth of an inch. If you do not have such a tool, you may purchase one or simply use a stick you can mark with a pen as you will not be looking for exact numbers here, but rather equal distances at multiple points. You will now choose a point towards the outside of the grate which you will use as a reference. First take one edge of the blade and check its distance from the top of the grate. Then take the opposite edge and verify its distance from the top of the grate at the same reference point. Mark the edge that is highest and it will now be your reference edge for the balancing. Using your reference edge of the blade, you will verify points east versus west on the x-axis, then north versus south on the y-axis. What you are looking to achieve is an equal distance between the top of the blade and top of the grate between points east and west, then points north and south. When you turn a balancing bolt clockwise, it will lower the motor on that side thus lowering the blade's edge. When you turn a balancing bolt counterclockwise, it will raise the motor on that side, thus raising the blade's edge. Use the balancing bolts to make the distances equal on opposites. This is a fine tuning, so it might take a few tries. Once your opposites are equal, retighten the side bolts. These do not need to be screwed tight against the motor. All they need to do is touch it. 
These bolts simply prevent vibration from unbalancing your motor, so the instant they touch the motor casing, you can stop screwing them. Secure these in place by retightening the nut on each bolt. There are no such bolts on the rotor, as there is no airflow in that unit, which greatly reduces the vibration. Once your side bolts are secured, you can use the height adjustment screws of the blade to set the distance between the blade and grate. Make sure the blade does not rub against the grate. For more details on that process, see our blade adjustment video. For assistance or any questions, visit us at trimpro.com, write us at info at trimpro.com, or call us at 1-450-349-0811. And toll free at 1 844 TRIMPRO. Thanks for watching.